What's going on everybody? I'm Johnny Brook. Welcome back to another Crafted Workshop video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to build these rustic bathroom vanities. I built three versions of these, two of these double vanities, a ADA compliant vanity in case you need a wheelchair access, and also a regular single vanity. So I will have plans available for these on my website if you wanna check those out, but uh, let's go ahead and get started with the build. So the first step in this project, as with any other, was breaking down the parts. So I started with rough cypress, but I designed this project to be able to be built with standard 1x4s and 1x3s from your local home center. I do have detailed plans available for this project if you're interested. They're a 17 page long PDF document with a detailed cut list and assembly diagrams for each step. And I'll have a link in the video description below if you're interested. As I said, I used rough cypress here, a wood that's known for its resistance to moisture. And I built these vanities for a local girl's summer camp bathroom, so I'm sure they'll see a ton of water exposure. So making them from cypress or cedar was a really good choice. I broke down the pieces to their rough sizes on my table saw and miter saw, and then flattened the boards on the planer and jointer. If you're buying 1x4s or 1x3s, you'll just need a miter saw for this step. With all the pieces broken down, I moved on to assembly. So first I assembled all of the legs. These are just simple 90 degree glue ups of two pieces of one by three. And to assemble the legs, I used pocket screws and glue, but dowels or dominoes would be another great choice here. Once the legs dried, I cut the joinery for the side assemblies of the vanities, which are made up of the legs along with the side frame pieces. I used dominoes for my joinery here using 8mm dominoes in this 7 8 inch thick cypress, but pocket holes or dowels would work in the exact same way. First I cut the domino mortises in the legs, using the locating pins on the domino to quickly align the holes. These pins made creating the same hole locations on each leg extremely quick without having to even measure. I cut the mortises for the side frame rails as well as the face frame rails at this step since after assembling the side assemblies, I won't have access to the legs again in the same way. Next, I cut the mortises into the ends of the side panel rails, cutting two mortise holes on each end of the rails and again using the pins for alignment. With all the mortises cut, I could assemble the side assemblies using dominoes and glue. While the side assemblies were drying, I went ahead and cut the mortises to create the face frames. On the single vanity, there's one vertical rail in the center of the face frame, whereas on the double vanity, there are two vertical rails. So I cut six millimeter domino mortises for these pieces, but again, pocket holes or dowels would work in the exact same way. With all the joinery cut for the main carcass of the vanities, I could start assembling them. Here you can see me assembling one of the double vanities. So first I attached the face frame components to each other using glue and dominoes, and then attached this assembly to one of the side assemblies we assembled in the previous step. I also attached the back rails at this point, and finally I added the other side assembly on the other end of these pieces. Once all the pieces were together, I clamped them up and then wiped off any glue squeeze out. And again, if you don't have access to a domino, dowel joinery would provide a really nice strong joint and make assembly a lot simpler than pocket holes. Although pocket holes will definitely work in this situation. All three versions of this vanity, the double vanity, ADA compliant vanity, and single vanity will be detailed in the plans if you're interested. So while I'm assembling, I want to take a second to talk about the sponsor of this week's video, John C. Campbell Folk School. I recently had the opportunity to attend a week-long woodworking class at the school, and it was an awesome experience. It's basically like summer camp for adults. So John C. Campbell is located in Brasstown, North Carolina, about two hours from Atlanta, Knoxville, and Asheville, so it's really centrally located to many places in the southeast, and they have classes on everything from woodworking to blacksmithing to drawing and much, much more. To learn more, visit their website at folkschool.org or check out the link in the video description below. 
Next, I started cutting the pieces for the doors. The doors are basically a simplified frame and panel design that are really easy to create. Again, I use dominoes for assembly, but pocket screws or dowels would work great. So the pieces are connected, as you can see here, with the ends of the vertical styles attaching to the inside edge of the horizontal rails. With the door frames assembled, next I glued up the door panels. I used dominoes for alignment here again, which really helps to keep the panels flat during glue up, although biscuits or dowels would work great as well. After the glue dried, I sanded the panels flat and then attached them to the back of the door frames using inch and a quarter screws. I kept the center hole snug and then drilled a larger hole in the corners so that the panels would have room to expand and contract seasonally. And you can see how this simplified design still gives you that frame and panel look without having to do all the work at the router table or table saw. With the doors assembled, I went ahead and installed them using standard face mount hinges. I'll have a link to the exact hinges I used in the video description below. It's really helpful to go ahead and pre-install this hardware prior to finishing, as you can reinstall the hardware much more easily without risking damaging the finish. And also if you make any mistakes, it's a lot easier to fix them prior to finishing. Next, I assembled the side panels of the vanities. These will be inset into the sides of the vanities in the same way as the door panels. In retrospect, I wish I would have made some of these from plywood because these double vanities are in a small bump out and you can't even see the side panel. So that was a lot of work to go unseen. Once the glue dried, I sanded the panels flat and then attached them to the inside of the vanity using inch and a quarter screws. Again, drilling larger holes in the corners to account for movement. With the vanity carcass assembled, the last pieces to install were the bottom and back panels. The bottom is made up of three quarter inch plywood, and I cut it to size with my table saw and track saw. If you're only gonna build one of the single vanities, a two foot by four foot plywood panel will be plenty, and your home center can cut it to size for you if you don't have access to a table saw. To attach the bottom panel, I drilled pocket holes into the underside of the bottom every six inches or so, and once the holes were drilled, I attached the bottom panel using pocket screws. And the panel actually rests on the bottom edge of the side panels from the last step, so it stays in place nicely without having to worry about it moving. Finally, I cut the back panels from quarter inch plywood. And instead of doing one big solid back panel, I decided to create two small panels that created one large opening. Since I didn't really know exactly what the plumbing situation was gonna look like at the summer camp, and considering the fact that I had to install six of these, I figured I'd make my life a little easier here. You can definitely do a full back panel and cut the holes to exactly match your plumbing. And I attached the back panels with three quarter inch brad nails. Before finishing, I removed all the hardware and gave all of the pieces a good sanding up to 180 grit. And I also broke all the hard edges with a sanding block as well. For the finish, I use General Finishes High Performance, which is a water-based polyurethane. I applied the finish with my Fuji Q3 HVLP system, although you can definitely brush on the finish if you don't have access to a spray system. With the finish applied, the vanities were done. All right, hopefully you guys enjoyed this project. These just turned out absolutely beautiful. I love the way this cypress looks. It really fits with kind of the rustic style of this uh, bathroom decor here. And I think this would look great if that's the style you have in your home. That kind of farmhouse style uh, would really, really go well with a vanity like this. So uh, overall, these are pretty simple to build. Uh, again, I used dominoes quite a bit when building this, but you could use pocket screws or dowels and achieve a very similar kind of joinery. Thank you again for watching. And if you guys don't already, please go ahead and get subscribed. I put out new project videos like this every Tuesday. Also, I have a list of all the materials and tools I used in the video description below if you want to check that out. And last, uh, I want to shout out thanks to all my Patreon supporters. You guys are great. Thank you so much for your support. All right, that's going to do it, guys. Until next time, happy building.